The lies about ASEAN tourism statistics explained. Which ASEAN countries are the most visited by tourists from Western countries? According to the statistical data shown by the ASEAN tourism data published by many leading dailies worldwide, the following countries appeared to rank this way, in terms of the number of tourist arrivals. 1. Thailand, 39.1 million. 2. Malaysia, 26.1 million. 3. Singapore, 19 million. 4. Vietnam, 18 million. 5. Indonesia, 16.1 million. And, 6. Philippines, 8.3 million. Wow, but no wow. The truth is, this data is a misnomer. Don't be fooled by it. Those reports make you believe that Thailand is a really far more popular tourism destination than is the Philippines, which was ranked at the bottom, with only a little more than 8.3 international arrivals pre-pandemic time. And, the most peculiar, absurd thing about the ranking is that even a country like Malaysia or Vietnam would look way more attractive than is the Philippines to international tourists. Well, that's a lie. One big lie. For the worthy, wealthy, affluent, rich, big spender tourists, the ones that matter the most, those from rich Western countries in North America, like the United States and Canada, the Philippines has actually always had been the most attractive, the most popular country to visit in all of the ASEAN member countries. Maybe one can argue that it is neck and neck with Thailand, which recorded 39.1 million visitors pre-pandemic time, an argument that we are willing to share with, considering Thailand benefits from its larger land mass area which is twice as big as the Philippines and is just one piece, unlike that of the Philippines that is an archipelago of more than 7,641 islands, making traveling within the country a little more challenging compared to just one, massive land country. Add to that the fact that Thailand has a more booming sex tourism industry and is more popular to kinky international tourists who are looking for such leisure activities. While the Philippines attracts more to the wholesome, family-oriented tourists who are looking for nature enjoyment and clean fun activities, and maybe pleasure just comes as a bonus to it. The ASEAN tourism statistic has also shown that Malaysia, with 26.1 million tourist arrivals during the pre-pandemic time, is a far more attractive country for visitors from the rich Western countries. Well, that's another blatant lie. It sounds ridiculous. It's a sham. It's total crop. It's one big lie. How could that be true when there were only 269,928 tourist arrivals pre-pandemic time coming from the United States, for instance, as opposed to over a million arrivals to the Philippines from the same country? Look how the distorted report screwed up the real, true facts and blemished the beautiful, majestic island country of the Philippines which home to more than 100 million beautiful, friendly and always smiling people of the Philippines. The truth is Malaysia's tourist arrivals data of 26.1 million come from its border countries where there's absolutely no need for anyone from those countries to ride a plane or sail overnight on a cruise ship to visit it. In fact, you can go to Malaysia coming from those countries by simply walking for a few steps because they're all situated next to each other, thus a few steps by walking can get you across the border, and a stamp on your passport. Yes, it's true, I'm talking about Singapore, Indonesia, Thailand, and Brunei Darussalam, which all border Malaysia. For example, of the 26.1 million tourist arrivals it recorded during the pre-pandemic time, already 10,163,882 of their so-called tourists come from Singapore, 3,623,277 come from Indonesia, 1,884,306 from Thailand, and 1,216,123 were from Brunei. Those were four of the top five countries where Malaysia's visitors have come from during the pre-pandemic year, 2019. As shocking as it may seem, the sum of all those four countries' numbers is a staggering 16,887,655. It constituted to 65% of the number it registered during that time. But how many of those 26.1 million visitors of Malaysia come from wealthy countries in Asia such as Korea and Japan come from for instance? Well, it only had 673,065 visitors from Korea, and a more dismal, minute number of 424,694 from Japan. Compare those to the Philippines which registered 2,682,788 respectively. A total far cry from what Malaysia tries to depict as a better tourist hub for Western visitors than is the Philippines. Well, we're not here to lambast Malaysia. Please don't get us wrong. That's not what we're here for. That's not what this video presentation was all about. 
Not at all. We're here to deliver the facts and the truth so that the people will be informed intelligently. If you don't like Malaysia as an example, then let's take a look at Singapore's numbers to better illustrate our point. According to the ASEAN Stats Organization, it had 19 million visitors during the pre-pandemic time or before the lockdown. But how many of those come from the United States or Canada, for instance? It's a measly 729,260 and 138,548, respectively. Again, a far cry from the Philippines visitors which registered 1,064,440 and 238,850, from the same countries, respectively. Let's look at the statistics because, as we all know, numbers don't lie. As you can see, only Thailand, best regarded as the sex den capital of the world, was only a Xi'an country that rivaled the Philippines and scored first in one of the four given countries. The Philippines, on the other hand, has scored number one in three out of the four given countries. Signifying that the Philippines is a rather more attractive tourist destination for the well-moneyed, high-spender, rich, affluent travelers from the western side of the globe. They are travelers with the strongest purchasing power. And, because they travel to the Philippines for fun and wholesome enjoyment, they stay longer and spend more in that country. So, that's it for today. We hope you found our video informative. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching, and see you next time.